Welcome back. This is Kotel for another War Rights event. I hope you all had a good week. We have a Southern Aggression here. It is going to be a hooker's push. Right now on the balance, we've got 133 on the defending CSA versus 143 on the attacking Union. So um, a little bit of a uh, an imbalance here. We'll see if it evens up here a little bit as we go along here. Um, they are live at 43 here, which is live now, but it takes quite a bit of time to get moving here, so we'll take a look at these uh, two teams as the Union makes their way. So for the CSA team, we have IVB under Mr. MVP. We've got First VA under Connor. TB under Knox. 20 to Georgia under Old Bill. HD under Barracuda. Let's see, then we got Fourth Georgia under Mr. Clarkey. HL under Wilkes and Grinch. And another element of HD under Bra. Come at me, Bra. Let's see. Yep, there's IVB. A bit of Artie as well. Let's see. We've got this HD bat under Incenseless. And is that all the Artie? Interesting. They didn't really take too much Artie as the CSA. Um, I don't need to, to be honest with you. Um, let's see. Check out the Union team. I'll do the Yardie first. Uh, they've got 42nd here under Mattis. And oh, Mr. Choom here from the 8th PA. Then on the Union team, we've got Knight, the leading 8th PA, 4th West Virginia, led by Lightburn. 19th Indiana under Joker. 9th Corps under Nolan. Let's see, then we've got Jacobson leading the 42nd PA. The second U.S. is under Night Breeze, and we've also got the second U.S. Sharpshooters here under Carnsey, I believe. Carnsey, uh, might be beef. I'm not sure which one's leading. <coughs> then we've got Frog leading the NYV. Rick's leading the 79th. Let's see, have anybody else that I'm missing here? Some more second U.S. sharpshooters there. All right. Uh, good luck. I think that's everybody. Let's take a quick look here. See if I'm missing anybody. I got 79th. I got Fourth West Virginia. I I think I got them all. Oh, I missed SR with Tall Gray. Uh, 145 to 130, 147 to 135, a little bit, 12 off. And it's getting not great. Not great, not terrible, as they say. But we will see how this goes. And we've got, uh, looks like the Union starting to spread out. they got the majority of their forces moving up on their left. And a bit of a uh, secondary force here kind of going towards the center here. Got a couple guys out here kind of as a front line here. It's kind of a skirmish line troop fire. Dog ready, just getting a couple shots off and falling back. Tell them to pour it out of the corn. They're pouring out of the corn. Let's go back. You can see the Union starting to move forward here. Yeah, what's in front of us there in the corn? Is that friendly? Yeah, what is that red thing yeah. out there? Is that a scout? We've got three. MVP, we've got three flags coming our way. Hold fire. Yeah, they're doing it. Yeah, they're doing it. Stop face, let's go. Break loads. You say being a little cagey to start with, which, you know, I you gotta be very, con you know, casualty uh, conscious in this uh, map, so I do not blame them for that. Take aim. Take aim. Hey. Fire! 
address it right. Hell hammer as soon as you can. Hey, Bill, reload. let's move us back 10, 20. And you're starting to put a lot of fire down here, but they're not really moving up too quickly here. They're being very deliberate in their approach, which is not a bad thing. CSA being cagey as well. here by Mr. Ricks some others so you can see you got a bit of a distraction force over here and still you got the main union line there CSA not too spread out they're pretty they're pretty uh pretty pretty well uh, positioned I'd say not really anybody isolated the union can pounce on so uh, I think it's pretty good position so far by the CSA Oh, we got now a forward attack here by Joker, but the HD guys got out of there. Well, well, we'll see if they got out of there. Oh, there was an already shot, knocked a couple guys down. One rank, spread right. Spread no, right, one rank. Between you. When you are ready, gentlemen, for our independent fire directly south of the Independent fire. Now, we'll say oh, boy, the Union is ahead on tickets, but they are not. Uh, this is taking a bit of time here. Again, the CSA is being cagey, and I think it's working well for them so far. We'll see if they can maintain this pace of battle here, and I think it'll work out very well for them. Now I would say the CSA is starting to spread out a bit too much now. You can see there's a bit of an opening here. IVB is a little isolated here now that the HD, you know, this element here kind of got pushed away. Um, they're kind of waiting it now more towards this left side of the field here. Um, which really is just that ninth core element facing that way with some supporting fire by this line. So we'll see if the Union launches an attack around here and tries to seize this ground over here. I think that'd be the best move for them. Um, Okay, and eh, it's still a little short on casualties. I mean, they're doing damage, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. We'll see. Oh, hey, John, spread out to the right, skirmish formation. Skirmish formation to the right, check your spacing. Stay down, check your spacing. By the way, I'm not going to check the guns for direct shots. Uh, I might do it for the CSA gun, but the Union gun is so far away. I, I, it's, I'm just going to look at the impacts. It's too hard for me to try to see where you're going to aim, and then track it all the way down across the map, so. I'm sorry already, guys, but uh, you'll see your impacts. You know what you shot. Like, this guy, I can kind of watch and be like, alright, where's he shooting? Yeah. <coughs> Mr. Socket Beans. Alright, Sock, go back and help Fowler. I want it right next to the right... Uh, yep, here we go. And you're starting to make a move along this flank here. Let's see who we got. We got Knight leading the way, joined by Joker, and Second U.S. kind of doing a little bit of base of fire to support this uh, dual attack here. Um, kind of a nice little uh, 
flanking maneuver. I'd be curious to see what IVB does. They might uh, just fall back. Quickly and change the time of day. <laughs> Second US starting to move up as well. Oh! There's Knight getting a couple shots in. Is that Not right? doing too much damage. Right and you can kind of see second US moving up on him. Sharpshooters, that is. Second US sharpshooters. And then 19th Indiana cresting that hill now, using that concealment from that bush. In front of us, in front of us. And a nice punch into the IVB. We'll see if they stick around here. I think this is a... Uh, I wouldn't retreat. I don't know why IVB's falling back like that. I should, we should be trying to wipe this unit out as quickly as possible. I'd even consider charging it. You've got the numbers. Especially since these guys are still out here, kind of, their necks out. You know, so you say, if you don't deal with this soon, they're going to turn on you. And hit you hard, you need to wipe this out as quickly as possible. So you got the noose, just, just tighten it. Really should volley and charge on this one, in my opinion. Fire! Yeah, there you go. Fin right. No, finish. There's three guys. Finish them off. What are you doing? Come on, get the fuck out of there's here. three guys. Just, just finish them. What are you falling back for? And see, second U.S. sharpshooters took the brunt of that because they took too long. See, APA charged in. Yeah. All right, well, Heavy B got wiped out there, but now uh, it took it a little bit too long. Now Fort George is going to kind of come up to replace it. It's starting to do a little bit more damage there. Um, I wouldn't clock you. Be careful about going too far out here. You might get sucked in the same trap that IVB just got nailed in. Except for these guys over here now. Keep an eye on this other side of the battlefield. I haven't watched in a little bit. He's still kind of holding down the center. Oh, now we got a move going on here. Who's moving forward? It is the 42nd. I think Overall, they sense some good. weakness there, and in fact, they're going to catch yeah, another one in HD and move out here. They might get a nice shot on them. They can get the shot off in time. Take cover. Independent fire. Oh, it's folly time, boys. Hard cover, boys. Hard cover. Like they just did. Southeast, south, southeast. There we go. Hey, uh, Daly, can you watch that right side? Turkey. Roger. Oh, I'm re dropping. Hey, you see the flag? See the flag? Broad does have some good positioning over here. Fuck them bushes. And some nice flanking fire in from that positioning. Kind of zoom out, and he's got a nice retreat route if they hit him too hard. Um, now, the CSA is flooding more units up here. This, again, I think is the main place the Union should push up a little bit more. Um, I think NYV moving up would be uh, uh, beneficial. Well, let's see. Yeah, I think they could I think they could afford to like maybe hop in right here and still have the same amount of cover. And be in a better position to support these other units. And I would have 19 move up to, you know... Try to seize this, these rocks here. Um, IVB just came back and retook them. It's a pretty strong position. Fort George is here as well now, so it's going to be a lot harder to take it. I mean, yeah, they can hit you from the woods here, but it, it, the woods really is kind of shit, to be honest with you. There's not much cover. So, I think it was a bit of a missed opportunity not taking this position. The Union definitely could have. Getting pinched on all sides here. You are, but you're holding pretty well, man. I mean, we're at 29 minutes and you're not yet at engaged. That is not ideal, but it's not horrible either. So, you know. Now, the Union is moving towards a cap, which I don't think I agree with at the moment. I, I, think, you, I think you'd be better served by trying to get them at least down to engage before you cap. But um, they have opted to cap instead and battle ready at 28 minutes. Um... It's a good opportunity here for the CSA if they can quickly recap, which they are in a decent position to do. They can get a shitload of tickets back here and really put themselves in a good position. So if I was a CSA, I would 
focus up. You, you got decent organization here. And in fact, you can see them moving here. They need to think about retaking this point as quickly as possible. You know, kind of fighting it out, you know, over this, this hilly terrain right here. And just recap it, and you would get a ton of tickets back. You just gotta do it quick, though. That's the key. You gotta do it fast before the Union really has time to react. So Union's kind of out of position. They're over there. There's the engage off of that already shot. Now the Union's kind of approaching on this side. CSA still recapping, though. And the Union's not even contesting the point. You still got units out, out over here, not even moving in. Ah, oh, this was very poor. Not a good job by the Union at all. Very poor. Nice uh, air burst there. Uh, now 40 seconds going to move in to try to contest it here. Uh, but they need additional support because these guys are just going to get eaten alive here. Especially with the flag here. CSA has a great opportunity to knock down the 40-second flag and eliminate them from the uh, field here. The 40-second, the uh, CSA should be focusing all fire now on the 40-second. Now you do have... No, nope, they're falling back. These guys are still not in the main fight. All right, now you had, who is this? Fourth West Virginia moving up a little bit. It is holding the point. CSA, yeah, you really need to push off the 42nd now. Oh, good move here by the HD. You see them moving up. You see they weren't engaged with anything? Like, okay, where's the fight? All right, I'm going to take this nice little flanking position right here. And uh, in a great little position to flank them. Very nice job here by Bra. Yes, that is a doctrinal term. Get fucked in the ass. Believe the Marines stuff. <laughs> Your boy, the inner service rivalry. A bit. Alright, now we get some... So now where the Union is, they should be putting in some more pressure here. Here's 9th Corps, here's Nolan moving up here. Now these two units here, 8th P... No, 9th and Nolan... Since they're over here now, they can move up on the flank and roll up the flank of the CSA. I think that's the play they should be making right now. Don't get distracted by the one or two little guys here. You've got a great opportunity to flank their line here and really put the hurt on them. But uh, you can't get distracted. So Knight is putting himself in position here. And Ninth Corps is chasing off the one or two little tickets that don't matter. Open order here. I've cut the grass. Cut the grass, and I want independent fire. 40 seconds pushed up on the right. That is all CSA right ahead of us. These are great tickets here. Great flank maneuver here, and 2nd U.S. Sharpshooters coming up to support. Great job by them as well. So now the Union is really squeezing. I think the CSA lost their opportunity, and really the 42nd moving up here when they did really kind of saved it for the Union. So I think they were on the... Uh, cusp of not maintaining that position. Now the CSA is kind of outgunned here. And they are outflanked now. Now you see uh, Nolan is bringing his troops back here to move up into that position as well. Already doing their part here. In fact, I would have... If I was Nolan, I'd post up over here. And in fact, I would post up right where these guys are. Start nailing guys as they're coming from Maine. Is what I would do, I think, if I was 9th Corps. This all went back here. But, uh... Flags right in front of us. You know. They can't hit for shit. Union's committed to this fight now. It's 15 minutes remaining. Right. CSA is going to have to figure out a way to get back some momentum here. Six minutes. Oh, I would not. No, 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 no. Hang out, hang out right back here. Let them come to you. Now, if you're just fixing Bayon as to receive a charge, that's fine. But you should not be charging. That's perfectly fine. Very nice volley. Reaper! Fire! 
Very nice volleys from the NYV in 19th. And I also approve of just standing there and reloading right now. You have the advantage, I think. I'm not loaded. You're Volleys should be the order of the day for both teams. You gotta try to knock them out, knock out those flags, knock out those respawns. Again, you can see the Union starting to curve around them. And uh, again, I think it's a little bit of a weak. For the CSA, I now if I was the CSA, I'd eat this. Um, it's kind of counterintuitive, but I'd eat it from this angle here. Knock out Ninth Corps and retake this position. And fight your way back up to seize this hill and put them in a bowl. I think that's your best option right now for the CSA with these reserves. And in fact, who's moving out this way? And that's Connor. We'll see if he goes out that way. Let's reclaim this right flank. I got someone else's flag. CQB's in here as well. I don't know if I called them out in the roll call. I do apologize. You got our flag. Here, just stay here. Is HD still uh, not as 20 George trying to pull back? 13 minutes remaining. Um, imbalance, 12 man imbalance. Um, eh, you know, it's 12 man, 13 man. Alright, 69th, if you're up here, independent fire and will. What's up? Got Connor moving out here. I wish he had a few more men with him. Maybe SR to join him. Again, I think this is I think this is the attack angle. I think the attack angle Connor's looking for. Uh, he got spotted though um, by Ninth Corps. But you know, I was critical of there. I, I'm still think that they'd be better served by pushing up here. But right now they are providing very good flank security. The second U.S. sharpshooters are supporting them, so it's not horrible unit placement. I still think they would have been better served moving up, but. It's working out all right. And we are down to taking losses. Rally to the left of the 22nd. Uh, can they move anybody? Maybe second U.S. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe. Oh no, nine, ten. Yeah, that's a lot. I guess fourth was Virginia moving over. Their other option, too, is they could attack from, um, although I like 19th Indiana moving out here to kind of block it, but the CSA could attack down this road and try to swing up this side. Again, kind of use the, uh, you know, they try to get up the hill and retake this position here. But the Union's kind of moving out pretty well to, uh, to stop them, so. They got a big force here. They just got to figure out where they want to attack. They're not going to win the game shooting them out. They're just not. A little volley from HL there. Make sure we're in formation. A couple others in the mix. Kind of zoom out here. And just so you can kind of see the arc. There's like, the Union is forming here. So the Union has now. Again, they didn't put anything to it, but now, you know, you see the Union's blocking that side there. Yeah, 19th doing the same over here. 
the Ninth Corps guarding this left flank and a 19th guarding the other flank. And on this flank, again, though, there's a lot of CSA here. They just need to hit it. It's a little tougher now. Now the 4th West Virginia is moving over here. A little bit of swap. Nine minutes remaining. I think they're just doing this to uh, switch to the other side, I imagine. Order, ladies and gentlemen. So, Guy let's... like men. Kill us! Oh. Kill us! <laughs> Crawling in my skin! <sighs> Fire. Yeah, once again, the CSA, you're, you're not going to win this shootout. You're wasting time. Maybe they're waiting for 4th West Virginia to switch over and then do the attack. That, that's possible. See, this is... Who is this here now? All right, see... Okay, now Ninth Corps moved up here along with 2nd U.S. Sharpshooters. This is what I was hoping to see a little bit earlier. But um, they're doing it now, so it's working fine for them. Well, here's the thing about balancing is it changes over the course of a match, so, you know, you might be like, all right, it's within the uh, tolerance here, we're okay, or, you know, hey, we expect more coming in, you know, it changes over time, people come in, people leave, so, it's not a static number. I'd really push up if I was a union, but I guess they don't really have to, I mean, they could just kind of hang out here. I would uh, have the Union already come up, but, you know, that might be too long. There's no Steam Chest, so they probably can't know. So, I'm not too, uh, too critical of that. Union's still a battle ready. TSA has not been able to do a lot of damage. Once more, the left phase, double quick, open column, on the move. Ignite's heading over to the left side to reinforce. See, even now, so you said got a few more men, so. Gives all of us corporals time to do. Might be uh, a little bit too uh, long, yeah. but. Uh, yeah, I, I haven't played the new update yet. Now with the... Yeah, you gotta make sure they got the. Stock. Well, there we go. They got them down to engage now. Oh, we got a major push here. Yep, it's on this side. Although we've got 19th that might be able to cut it. Oh, 19th is going to be able to cut the legs out of that charge here. Then the rest of it is going to get swallowed up here by 2nd U.S. and the 42nd. Oh my gosh, the fucking slaughter. So a very nice maneuver by 19th Indiana. Cut the legs out from under that attack. A very nice maneuver. Now, the center is kind of open here, but I think the Union's it's kind of a trap right now. We'll see. 20th is going in. They're going to go for it. So, the right side has fallen now. At least the Union right, CSA left. We'll see how this push in the center goes. Didn't do so great. It's a little bit kind of... Those enemies to our left. Yeah, it's, it's kind of straggly here. That unit over there is not really going in. They need to try to pin down and fix those forces if they can. We'll see here if IVB and 20th can sneak cap. 
before the Union has time to react. That's where the fixing forces come in. So, you, you see, okay, now they're moving up, but you need to hit these forces hard. Those elements over there, you can't just fire and maneuver. You need to tie them down. Because these guys, you can see, they're getting torn to shreds. Same thing with that attack that was over there. If that had gone off a little bit later and tied down the 19th and maybe 2nd U.S., maybe this attack could have had some effects. But right now, they're literally in a crossfire. Look, it's, it's that old crossfire game. Crossfire. Boom. Boom. And they're just getting torn to shreds here. So. Now they're going in, but it's too late. It, it, can't, it took way too long to take off here. Right if this had gone off earlier when that was at full strength, We're retreating, retreating. you know, these guys get wiped out and what's left comes and joins them. You'd be in a much better position, but that was mistiming by the CSA team. And you got more troops reinforcing here. We've only got three minutes remaining. I'm sorry for having to do this. We'll see if the CSA can uh, continue the push here. It's going to be, up, we'll it's gonna be up to the night breeze here to try to hold this line here until the reinforcements fire come will, in. Fire will. Aim at knees. Three minutes, 20 remaining. They don't have loads, they don't have loads, just keep shooting. They still have loads. Make sure you have your pennants fixed because we're close contact. Ooh, very good already shot there. Shoot that flag, bear. Shoot that flag. Shoot that flag. This be very different with the uh, five second respawn. Uh, do 10 second on this event. It's one of the maps where I kind of like the 5 second a little bit more. Makes the Union harder to defeat, but when you do, it really fucking hurts. Itself kind of moving up here. Um, they could punch through this flank. I'll be honest with you, they need to kind of just punch it. You cannot go toe to toe with these sharps. You need to close the distance with them. Well timed, already shot. This is what you need to do with the sharps. You got to close the distance with them. You cannot exchange fire with them. The rest of these guys should be charging in. A few of them went in, but it looks like 2nd U.S. and the 2nd U.S. sharpshooter is held. Yep. It was not nearly enough to that attack. And the rest of these guys are just going in and wasting time. So getting up online and doing a volley was probably the wrong move, in my opinion. You need to try to shock them as quickly as possible. You know, I, I know it's kind of counterintuitive, but you cannot let those sharps get a twist on you. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We need to go. And the Union is not on point yet. In fact, these guys should be flooding towards point. I don't know why they're stopping. CSA, this is kind of the last opportunity here to try to retake point. What are you doing back here? Get your load. Oh, I wouldn't get my loads. You might need to get on point right now, Frog. See if the Union can hold this. Oh, I'll do something to the flags. 14 seconds remaining, and it looks like the Union has it. Yep. And that is the end. A dominating victory by the Union team. A very good job on their positional warfare. Getting those good positions, moving up, you know, slowly, deliberately securing the flanks. 
Um, I thought they were a little bit early on taking the point, but it ended up working fine. The CSA had a good opportunity there at the beginning to retake it, but uh, some good maneuvering by a few units kind of secured it. And then the CSA really never uh, had some attack ideas, and they went off okay, but never coordinated, never, never, never synchronized, never you know mutually supporting. And you see what happens. And you can't don't don't try to outshoot goddamn sharps, man. Not when you're about even on on troops. You gotta you gotta close the distance with them. You gotta knock just knock them out. Anyway, that's it for round one. We got one more to go. We'll see how it goes.